Hello everyone, we are at the 16th Harassis India Meet and I have the absolute pleasure of having with me Minister Dimitris, Dimitris the Minister of Digital Governance. Welcome and thank you so much, Minister. It's my Minister. pleasure. Namaste. Uh, namaste. I love my first Indian words. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So tell me something, you know, uh, I've heard so much about you and it's just such an illustrious career that you have. In the last few days with the Harassis India Meet, you know, India is doing quite a lot when it comes to digital transformation, uh, especially when it comes to government tech. What are some of the key takeaways or what are some of the things that you feel that oh, uh, we want to partner with this uh, with India? Well, despite the fact that the countries are on different scale, it's a huge country with a huge history India. We had a huge history, but we're just 10 millions or 11 yes. millions. But from the other side, there are common challenges. And, you know, digitalization has uh, no uh, limits as far as uh, what uh, it can bring to our citizens. Uh, India is a huge country, but from the other side, in Greece, we have more than, let's say, 100 islands. So we have to use technology to bring mm. services all over Greece, all over India. And uh, the secret is to make all our citizens feel as being part of the same state and technology can eliminate the mm. distances and bring them together. So we have to bring digital solutions not only for technology. Mm. It's not technology the issue. Technology is yeah. always the main, the prime. Enabler. The enabler, exactly. Yeah. The point is uh, to bring all of the uh, new, uh, let's say, uh, positive things that technology can bring mm. uh, every day to our citizens and make their life easier, safer, happier and uh, to win to gain time to go out with their friends, Fantastic. To be, be, drink a beer or to play. I, I love that. This so is the point. This technology, is the point technology as to unify. Exactly. Technology to unify. That's, that's, that's such a lovely concept as opposed to uh, everyone being on their phone. Technology as a means to unify people from all of the different that's places. That's why I'm saying that we have to bring our state, we have to bring digital Greece on uh, People's mobile. citizens' <laughs> hand, citizens' yes. mobile, exactly. Yes. And, That's and the point. Are there any particular initiatives or are there any particular, uh, you know, technologies or, or things that you've seen either from India or from any other country where you said, wow, that could work quite nicely in Greece or for our citizens? First of all, it has to do with infrastructure because yes. bringing technology uh, needs a step backward, which is uh, to uh, make better infrastructure for all of us. And this is something that we are working very hard now in Greece. But mm. the second is to uh, make uh, to bring the borders between what digital life is and mm. what real life is. Mm. Uh, I have three children, uh, yes. 14, yes. 14 and 16 years old. Uh, my, uh, my main thought is how to make uh, my children feel real people because this the life is a fantastic life but mm. for sure uh, I, we have to face uh, cyber security issues uh, to see how AI can help us and for sure can break fantastic things in our lives and mainly in the health sector but from the other side we have to make this border and this margin between the real life and the digital life this is something that we have to, to work together and culture yeah. and education can bring them uh, let's say uh, all, all the, the tools to make uh, this, uh, to feel this difference. And speaking of education, you know, you have a background in engineering, as does your wife. Uh, uh, you know if, <laughs> uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, I'm yeah. great at stalking you. you. Um, know anything about my wife? <laughs> 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 uh, so both of you are engineers, you know, and in a world of technology, which is changing faster than ever, I'm sure that degree and that background definitely helps. But not everyone comes from that background. So in terms of education, and not ever, you know, we cannot go back uh, uh, to college uh, very easily again. What is your advice to your citizens uh, as they in this ever-changing technology world on how do they keep up with this? They don't have to feel afraid of technology, but from the other side, mm. it is in our uh, part to, uh, to see and feel how the community is feeling technology, because technology is running very fast, and sometimes we don't stop, we don't pause and see behind. So we have to uh, run and uh, use technology, but from the other side, step by step or uh, day by day, have to stop at the end of the day and see if the community is with us, is understanding what we're yes. doing and yes. bring them with us. Technology must be an inclusive uh, 
uh, technology must be inclusive. Part of our life, yes. Absolutely. And and what about for the next generation, the next generation of leaders? You know, technology will play and continue to play such a central role for them. What is your advice to them on how should they be thinking about uh, using technology, learning about it as well as future well, I, leaders? I think you said that technology is just the means. Yes. It's only uh, the enabler for making our life better. better. Mm. Not to use technology because technology can do fancy things. Yes. Technology is egoist. Is uh, tries always to speak about her. Yes. So let's uh, Use remember that we are humans and we have to Amazing. stay humans. We have Amazing. to love, to feel, uh, to go outside with our friends. This is something that a leader has not to forget. Amazing. And one final question, which is for Indian entrepreneurs. One of the things that we heard quite a lot in this conference was Greece is a fantastic gateway to Europe. Uh, and there's a lot of Indian tech entrepreneurs that have stated their excitement in wanting to use Greece as a gateway to enter Europe. Any words of advice uh, for them or two cents that you have for them? Greece is changing. It's changing rapidly. It's changing digitally. It is exactly as a crossroad between the three continents. So it is a perfect place between India and Greece, mm. two countries with a huge history, with culture, uh, fantastic heritage to work together. This is the place Greece is Europe. India can find a very friendly country to work with European Union, so this is a place and this is a time. Thank you for being here. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Minister. Absolute pleasure.